Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Chongo. Welcome back to another video. And today we are just going to be watching and reacting to a video. This is the first time I've ever made a video in this type of style. So let me know what you think. Tweet me, DM me on Instagram, comment, anything to get my attention. Just do that. Try to let me know what you think. Alright, so today we are going to be reacting to basically a video that blames all games when it comes to violence in children. So I think that's a good topic just to cover in my first commentary. That way it's not completely random. That way it's still somewhat related to my old type of video. So hopefully you enjoy and let's get this started. Please or God. Boy! You wouldn't be thinking hard. Here I come, this is my final time. You wasn't expecting this, boy! My son is addicted and obsessed with violent video games. I hear your guns. Video games are my son's number one priority. He plays when he wants, where he wants, and for as long as he wants. All right, first off, why do you have to specify the violent part? I mean, it is just a game. There have been so much studies that have found that there's no link between violent games and actual violence. That's just a myth. All right. That's number one. That's just complete BS. So screw off with that part. All right. Now, can it increase aggression? Yeah. I mean, that's been found. But aggression doesn't equal violence. All right. So, another thing is, if it's so bad, take the game away from him. If you as a parent don't like the games that he's playing, take the Xbox away from him. It should not be that hard to comprehend. I mean, I'm no parenting expert, alright? I'm 15, but I think that if a child is getting really bad when he plays the game. Take the game away from him. That should be common sense. Anyway, let's continue. He has stayed on for up to 20 hours. He never comes out of his room to eat with us, but he will yell out from his room, peasant, bring me a plate. Okay, again, if your kid is getting to such a bad point where he is calling you a peasant, your kid, by the way, calling you the parent the peasant just tell him no we don't do that take the thing away from him for maybe a month until he stops doing that like that all of this can just be boiled down to what is the parent here thinking like if you're the parent you should be the one that has the control not your damn kid all right, so first off, you know, that's problem A solved. Second off, if he's doing this, why are you listening to him? So I don't see that problem on the, oh, yeah, my kid doesn't, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, I, I might be crazy here, all right, a little bit crazy, Oh, well, all right, but I think that if someone that I have power over tells me, peasant, do something, I say, no, I'm the one with the power here, you're not, do it your damn self, all right, so this really should not be national TV worthy, it should be basic, hey, what's the issue here? How do I solve it with basic common sense? That really should not be national TV worthy, but I get to make fun of it because it's on the internet, so I'm going to. Come to me immediately! I request back up immediately! The two games that he really likes to play the most are Grand Theft Auto and Fortnite. He gets very excited about the number of kills because the more kills you have, the higher you go in the game. It makes him very aggressive. His favorite game right now is Grand Theft Auto. Double barrel, bitch! It is very violent. They rob, shoot, kill, beat. Let's empty out this 
and everything they do is demeaning to women. Okay. I'm pretty sure this applies to everywhere in the U.S., but where I'm from, if you're someone who's trying to buy a violent video game, because that kid did not buy that video game on his own. All right. You probably bought him the game, all right, or his dad, okay? So, again, if you don't like what's in the game, don't let your kid play it. I mean, and second off, Grand Theft Auto, there's way more than just beating hookers, all right? Sure, most of the stuff isn't very child-friendly. That's why it's rated mature 17 and up and not 12 and up. Okay, that's why there's the rating there to say to idiots like you, hey, don't let a 12 year old play this game if you're if you don't think that he's mature enough or she is mature enough to handle this game. Don't do that because then you're making the company look bad for just producing a product. Okay, so he the game is not to blame here. All right, what she is saying is, it's the video game's fault, not my terrible parenting, okay? So, take the game away from him if you don't want him playing it. Say his dad did buy it for him, all right? And that's how he obtained this game that legally he isn't even allowed to purchase on his own, even if he saves up enough money, okay? And if there is a kid there trying to buy the game, the cashier is responsible for telling you as a parent what kind of stuff is in that video game. So you were warned, even before you bought the video game, what was in, on, in it. Plus, if you look on a video game right next to the rating, on the back, you, should, you will see the reasons why it is rated the way that it is, okay? I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that or paid attention to the covers of video games but on the back on the rating it says why it is rated the way that it is and for mature games they are responsible for telling you why it is rated that way what it includes so that you know as a parent hey this is why it's rated this way and why hey maybe i shouldn't let a 12 year old play a game about armed robbery, beating hookers, and stuff like that, okay? So, it's really not the game's fault. It's you not doing your job as a parent. That's literally all it comes down to. Jiggly, jiggly, I'm coming for the moody. When my nephew is playing the video games, he's very rude and disrespectful to the people that he's playing online with. Okay, first off, this first point is nothing to do with the video but she just looks like she has live laugh love in her house just gotta get that out of the way she just looks like that type of person okay second off i mean it's just the nature of online gaming all right most people should know that by now it's a video game no one online is gonna get their feelings hurt if they are called an idiot for doing something stupid online Online is just really toxic to begin with, so, and most people know this, most people know that people online, not the nicest people, I'll admit, like, when I'm on a game, like, I trash talk a lot, you know, that's just part of the nature of online gaming, that's one of the reasons why it's so fun to so many people, just because you can talk trash, and not really suffer any bad consequences like everyone online is trash talking so no one really gets butt hurt all right plus even if they do most people won't trash talk unless you do something really stupid or you trash talk first or you're just really bad one of the three okay so if you don't like your kid being in that environment Again, take the Xbox away. It's really not that hard. Just unplug the power supply, unplug everything, take it away. Boom. Problem solved. Okay. 
it's really not that difficult to comprehend, but these people think that's national newsworthy. No clue why they think that, but no clue why they have live, laugh, love in their house, so. Thank you, You didn't say anything. He plays the game online with adults, and the language that they use is absolutely horrendous. Maybe there's a bunch of bad language because your kid is playing a game that's meant for adults and he's 12. That might be why. Just, just a wild guess. Adults might use some language that isn't meant for kids in an adult game. Who could have seen that coming? I sure couldn't. Wow. That was so hard for me to comprehend. Wow! I know. Adults don't always use... Hell, people don't always use the most kid-friendly language. But, sure, if it was a game meant for children, it would make sense why you would be upset over this. Alright? But, the game is rated M for a reason. M stands for mature. Mature people usually don't use the most child-friendly Disney Mickey Mouse haha come to my clubhouse kids language all right so just realize hey maybe my kid is playing a game that's not meant for kids and the reason that people are using language in a game not meant for kids is because there shouldn't be kids that are 12 years old playing it to begin with. Common sense, not rocket science here. We're not building a rocket going to Mars to colonize it with Elon Musk here. We are saying, hey, why is Grand Theft Auto not a good influence on my 12-year-old kid? That's all we're saying here. So... Why is it so hard for you to comprehend, lady? Big, big CEO coming through. I'm gonna kill you, beat the out of you, and piss off. And Jeez, probably because a game named after a literal crime, you know, hear me out, hear me out. A game that's literally named after a crime might, just might, be about crime. I know, I know. Crazy take. A game named after stealing someone's car has a bunch of different crimes in it. Who could have guessed that coming? I sure as hell couldn't. So, why does this surprise you when you are literally allowing Grand Theft Auto and internet strangers to raise your children when your child doesn't become the best person, doesn't become Jesus Christ himself. That shouldn't surprise you. It should sur surprise you if he did turn into an amazing person. If you as a parent are saying, screw this whole parenting process, I'm going to let Grand Theft Auto raise my children for me. Okay. So, that's really all I have to say about that part is... A game named after a literal crime might have some crime in it. I know. Hot take, hot take. This is just kind of going back to earlier's point, but I'm pretty sure when you buy a mature game for your child, the guy at the register, at least whenever I was younger and even now if I go to buy a mature game, the cashier would always tell the person buying it for you, hey, this is what the game includes. It includes hookers, beating them, stealing cars, killing people, running people over with cars, drugs, you know? So, if you're warned about, hey, this is what this game includes. So, don't complain when this is what this game includes, alright? So, my question to you as a human being, even, let's say... You pissed off Mike Tyson, okay? Mike Tyson says to you, Hey, stop, or I'm going to punch you in the face if you don't stop. If you don't stop and Mike Tyson punches you in the face, 
you can't really blame Mike Tyson in that situation. He told you, hey, stop. This is what's going to happen if you continue this. You continued. Mike Tyson, hey, I'm punching you now. You get punched in the face. So why are you still surprised that this is happening? Th that just baffles me, alright? But, again, I have basic reasoning. This person obviously doesn't. So, I don't know I'm trying to argue with them, but I am because it's content. So, sue me. And that's transferred over to his mom. When I tell him, watch your language, he'll tell me to shut the f up and get out. He will turn over furniture, he breaks dishes, he has basically destroyed his room. How would you like your death to be? Death by nades? These violent games have desensitized him from actual pain and death. He has been bullied. I am scared that he will take the behaviors that he's learned in the game and retaliate he could become another school shooter. I know that I keep saying this, but if he's getting to the point where you're afraid that your kid is playing so much video games that your child is going to literally shoot up a school, take the damn thing away from him for like a year. But even then, it has been proven time and time again that anger towards video games doesn't really cause that all right just do basic research woman all right well that's clearly not what you did because if you did do basic research all you would have to do all right is look up how do i stop my kid from being so violent and nine times out of ten you'll just find take the thing away from your kid i mean while he's sleeping or Literally any time that he's not at the house, unplug the Xbox, put it somewhere. Or give it to your mom or, like, your sister, who clearly seems to be on your side here. All right, I don't know what you did to her if you gave her, like, a thousand dollars, but you clearly brainwashed her. All right. So tell her, hey, my kid, I don't trust him with this Xbox. Have this until... I tell you to give it back so that, you know, he can not be a terrible person, all right? I don't like how he's acting. Take this for me, please, or give it to literally anyone. I'm pretty sure most family members or friends would be pretty understanding on the fact that he could just sneak in and take it from you. So, literally just get it anywhere away from him. Plus, the kid's like, 12 like he's barely even in puberty all right so you as a fully grown adult if you're not stronger than a 12 year old that plays video games for 12 hours a day say he does fight back all right if you're not stronger or able to win a fight against a 12 year old who plays video games all day i think that says something about you hell this whole thing is just completely avoidable if the parent stepped in that's all that has to be done the parent just has to parent i know parents have to parent crazy thought process but if the parent parented it wouldn't have even gotten to this point to begin with let's continue anyway let's empty out this this is something that I feel like I could deal with in 30 seconds or three hours, depending on how I approach this. But if you're so desperate, why did you not write in? Why did your sister write in nine times? I guess I'm just complacent to it. I'm, I'm used to it. I feel like I know what's wrong with him. My question is, what's wrong with you? And this is why I love Dr. Phil. Phil, you glorious, you glorious bald-headed angel from heaven. I love you, Phil. I get that that's illegal. Go with the joke. All right. But this is what I've been asking the whole time. What is wrong with this woman? Why don't... Like, she shouldn't be used to this. It shouldn't have even gotten to the point where... 
this kid is insulting her or doing any of this stuff if she has a problem with it, all right? But Dr. Phil just finally answer, asked the question. We've all been asking this whole time, ladies and gentlemen. What is wrong with this woman? All right. She clearly does not carry, care about her child's future whatsoever. She just cares, Oh, it's the video game's fault! Everyone, it's the video game that's making my child go crazy. Not my bad parenting! No, no, it's it's the video game's job for parenting instead of the parent here. It's the video game's fault, guys. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Alright. Thank you, Phil. You glorious bald-headed fuck. I love you, Phil. You have a 12-year-old child yelling, get in here, peasant. Bring me this, and what do you do? I will let you in if you go get me Starbucks. And you go get it. Now- Oh, that look at on her face at the end is so perfect. Oh my- You can just tell that she's been told this by her friends on Facebook when she complains. Hi everyone, it's me Susan here. Back with another update on little Kevin here, alright? Now, lately, I've been letting Kevin play this video game here. Let's see what it calls what it's called. Grand Theft Auto 5. Now this game, when I bought it, the nice sweet young little man at the counter said, Hey honey, this game is a bit violent. Little drunk little Kevin here might not really like it that much. It might be a too inappropriate for him. But I was like, no, he'll, he's saying it's appropriate. Why would my kid ever lie about game being inappropriate just to play it? Why would I do that? And all friends are like, oh, you know, maybe the young man might have known what he was talking about, old woman. All right. Like, and... They're like, hey, take the game away from him. Oh, no, he'll be fine. He'll understand that what he's doing is wrong. Nope, he doesn't. And you feeding into this just encourages it as a parent, okay? You can just see that look on her face like, oh, damn it, all my friends were right. Oh, damn you, Dr. Phil, you sexy old man. Oh. All right. You can just see that look of, I fucked up. <laughs> now, that video is done, alright. There's not much left for me to comment on, alright. But, we're gonna watch another video that I saved, uh, also by Dr. Phil on the same kid. But it goes a bit more in depth to the kid's perspective, alright. So... Enjoy, um, yeah. This is my baby, my prized possession. I love video gaming. Every day I get home, I just want to play. Oh, here I come, here I come, here I come. This is my final time. You wasn't expecting this, boy! I don't want to sound like I'm a future serial killer, but it's fun. <laughs> like when you, like, drive a minivan through a crowd of people. One thing that... I want you guys to pay attention to in this video compared to the last one is the style of editing. All right. In this one, it's much more like sharp and stuff like that. Just to try to make it seem like he's just terrible person when in reality, he just wasn't really raised right because his mom wasn't really doing anything as a parent. All right. But another thing is... Although they include the part where he's talking about how it's fun to, like, drive through a crowd of people in a video game, alright? Please, for anyone that has a problem with him doing that, what the actual hell is wrong with going in a video game, alright, and driving through a crowd, a virtual car, through a a virtual crowd of people, 
all right? Now, you could argue, oh, it's what it represents. But he's not actually doing it. Okay. Sometimes I'll have a really bad day, and I just want to go in a game and shoot a bunch of people. All right? That's just stress relieving for a lot of people, including myself. <clears throat> so, I don't really see what the issue here is. Now, I might just be a cold-hearted killer, but, I mean, it's not real. So, I don't really see what the point is here. Someone can help me down in the comments, but killing people in GTA is not that bad of a deal. That's literally what the game was designed for. Ooh, I hear your guns. I'm finna come. In the game world, like, you can get away with stuff. And so cars, you can kill people. You're going at each other full force with guns blazing. Nobody will arrest you for public indecency. And that's the good thing about online. I mean, I completely get that. Like, think. If you want to punch someone in real life, all right? You don't want to fizz, and you don't want to, like, suffer the consequences, because, you know, you can just literally go in GTA, find a person that looks even remotely like that person, that you really don't like that much, punch them, shoot them, do whatever you want to them. Like, it's not that bad. What would you rather someone do? Alright, people are going to get angry at people. Keep in mind, people are going to have stressful days. Would you rather someone go in, have a mental breakdown at work, potentially harming people, okay? Or would you rather someone go in a virtual world and blow up helicopters, blow up cop cars, speed, punch people? What would you rather someone do? Because, now don't get me wrong. People still do those things in the real world. I'm not saying that they don't. I never have. I never will. Okay. But this is just a good way for people to get their anger out and have some fun. Like, it's really fun in GTA to get five stars, have the whole SWAT team military on me, and try to see how long I can live with taking as much of them out. That's just really hectic, fast-paced, and a lot of people like that kind of gaming. People just like to pretend they're in those situations to make them feel a lot cooler than they actually are. There's nothing wrong with that. Stop shaming people for having a hobby. That's literally all this is. It's just any other hobby. You do what you want. You didn't see anything. Sometimes when people are acting stupid, I get mad. Double barrel, bitch! Sometimes they say some stuff that has gotten me banned multiple times, but I just don't care. Okay. Now, if his mom doesn't like him swearing, I get that, but online, talking trash, no one really cares. Like, if you talk trash on the internet, nobody, no normal person will get butt hurt. All right, that's just a fact. Like, if someone talks trash to me, I'm just gonna talk trash back. Like, that's just how the internet is now. Now, will you maybe not like it? Yeah, but, like, it's just how it is. So, if you don't want your child being in that environment, just take the thing away from him. That's literally... All that it comes down to. Just. But. In defense of this kid so far. I mean. He isn't really doing anything too far. You'll see later on that. Yeah. He kind of does do. Some crazy stuff. But like. So far you know. They're trying to make this part. Seem like. Oh my god. This kid's a psychopath. No. He's just talking trash on the internet. When you let the internet raise your kids, don't be surprised when they turn out to be assholes. Let's empty out this One time, my console wasn't working. I took a rock, but I threw it at the TV. Let go of me. Let go of my shirts. 
Okay, welcome back to How to Be a Decent Parent with a 15-year-old with common sense. Now, if your kid breaks a TV from a game, tell him, Hey, I'm not buying you a TV. Buy your own TV. That's literally all that you have to do. I know. Crazy story. Hold your kids responsible for their actions. They will... Thank you for it in the long run. Alright? But you doing... You just buying him... Hey, little... What name do I use for him? Johnny! Or Kevin. Kevin was his name. He looks like that kid from Home Alone. Alright? I just want to put the tangent. Sue me. Okay. Anyway. Little... I already forgot the name. I already forgot the name, chat. Not chat. Uh... Anyway, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Alright, so, little Kevin, I get that you broke the TV, and should I hold you accountable for your actions? No, that's for people who are responsible. We're not responsible in this house, you little little goober. Alright, no. If your kid does something like that, hold them accountable, say, hey, Save up your own money. If you want a TV, you're buying your own TV. Tough love, alright? That's literally all that you have to do. It's it's not hard, alright? Just don't be total idiot. Stop it! When somebody, like, tries to mess with me when I get mad, I will punch, slap, hit, bite. I'll do whatever I can to get you out of my way. Stop! What are you doing in my bathroom? Sometimes, to release my anger, I grab a golf club and I go crazy on my door. These are the holes from where I did it. It was an argument and I just had to come in here, release my anger. At home, I kind of have free range because everybody knows. Like, when I get that mad, you don't come over to hit me, to punish me, to silence me, because I'll hit you. Alex, how you doing? Good. So, your mom is concerned about your behavior at home. What is it you think she's concerned about? Mm, sometimes when I get angry, I do stuff. Well, I've been watching videotape of you, and sometimes you use really bad language. You yell at her, you scream at her to get in here, peasant. You've locked her out of the house. I mean, you kind of do what you want to do, right? Yeah. Uh, why is that? How? Why do you not do what your mother tells you to do? Phil, Phil, Phil. Oh, you bald-headed man. All right. I I thought we've been over this, Phil. The reason that he continues to do it is because no one's stopping him. So if he doesn't get punished for his actions, for not listening, why would he stop? That's just basic common sense. If you don't punish someone for doing someone something bad, they're just going to keep doing it. By this logic, like, oh, he'll just stop on his own. Let's say Ted Bundy, all right? Or let's take a serial killer that kills someone every once every month, all right? If the police catch him and are like, you know what? Why didn't you stop? Because no one caught him. Same thing here, all right? If no one stops him, he's not going to stop. You, as the adult in the figure, have to say, hey, we're going to stop this, all right? And you have to do something about it. That's literally all... Phil, I thought we've been over this, Phil. What the hell? She doesn't really do anything to stop me sometimes. So you're in charge? Most of the time, yeah. Everyone, everyone, everyone. All right. This is what I've been getting at this whole video. Okay. Dr. Phil just asked this kid, Hey, buddy, are you in charge most of the time? And this kid, most normal, healthy households. If you ask the kid, hey, Who is in charge at your house? Is it you or your parents? Most normal people with 
working parents who don't have a tuna fish for a brain would say, oh, my parents are the ones that are in charge, not me. But since this kid's mom, his mom, not his fault, he's, I mean, obviously, he, should he be doing this? No. Most of the blame falls on the parent, I think. All right. But anyway, since this kid's mom has a tuna fish for a brain, if that even, since she is that for a brain, since he was asked, hey, are you in charge most of the time at your house? He said yes. Okay. That should not be blamed on the video game. He should have said no in that situation, but since he's never been punished for his actions, he's basically running that place like the mo like the cartel running Mexico, like the Taliban running Afghanistan. Like he is running that house. Let's say your mom just says, okay, you're in charge. She already has, but carry on. And she decides she doesn't want to do anything. Since you're in charge, what would you do? I would cook, I would make food, I would... What would you cook? Sandwiches. Where would you get the, where would you get the stuff to cook a sandwich? From the pantry. You're going to eat that stuff up in a few days, and then it's empty. What are you going to do to get food in there? Work. Where are you going to work? You're 12. Phil, 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 Mr. Phil, Dr. Phil, whatever, Philippin, all right, whatever you want to be called. You are asking him, hey, what if your mother gave up on mothering? Well, you're forgetting one aspect here she already fucking has if she didn't it wouldn't have even gotten to this point to begin with so all she really does is give him food other than that she doesn't parent so like what the hell basically they go back and forth oh i'm gonna walk dogs oh do you realize how much it you know basic boring shit i don't want to bore you i don't really have anything to say over that all right but hopefully you enjoyed this style of video if you did let me know make sure you tweet me at chilling owl make sure you follow my instagram at chilling underscore owl 7704 trying to get the chilling owl tag but dude isn't responding to my message i'd be willing to pay him all right so, whoever owns that tag, if you're watching this, respond to my fucking DM, please. I want to give you money for that tag. Alright. So, anyway, please like this video. If you... Or, only if you did enjoy it. If you didn't, please don't like the video. Alright, I only want you to like if you actually did enjoy it. That way I can know if you liked it or not. If you did not enjoy it, please let me know what I could have done better in the comments. Alright. Some things I'll be able to change right away. Some things probably not. All right. So, anyway, make sure you follow everything. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more of this content in the future, so stick around for that. Anyway, subscribe if you're new. Turn that bell on. Anyway, tell someone you love them, and have a good day.